the intention of this home is to last at a minimum of a hundred years. So I was uh, given a consignment, well, I don't know what the word is there, commission to um, restore and evaluate every adobe brick to get it back to its original uniqueness. I have been to literally hundreds of adobe homes and hundreds of historical structures made of adobe just here in California. I am a recognized California restoration artist, so I am sought out by uh, architects, engineers, contractors, and homeowners that are wanting and desiring this unique and most wonderful buildable structure. This home here um, in Palma Valley is made from an extremely large brick of clay soils. This brick is called a 12 by 4 by 16. This brick weighs 50 pounds. Compressive strength is something that we can see in these walls that are right here behind me. That when you put one brick upon another, upon another, upon another, you are adding weight upon weight upon weight, and therein adobe is starting to get its strength. So, Jack Weir is a man who understood, go to the source, check the soil, and then use that soil, build a home right there. And this is what we have in this historic adobe home here in Palma Valley. Jack Weir recognized the soil, and he made these bricks right here on site almost 50 years ago. This home is almost ready to be historically registered. Evidence has shown no cracks in the walls, no cracks in the floors. Like I told you, I've been over every, every single brick of this house, checking it, restoring it, bringing it back to its natural breathing dynamics, never finding a crack after nearly 50 years. So Jack Weir homes have footings that are four times the width of the walls, which are 16 inch thick walls. Jack Weir was very pleased to come back and visit his home just a few months ago. He's proud of his adobe homes. And he told me he wants his adobe homes to last 100 years. And he handed me the adobe torch. And this man is 83, still quite dynamic after he has built literally hundreds of adobe homes from bricks he made on site.